Our three comedians enter, one wins, and two will regret participating. Why will they regret participating? Because we're showing videos like this. <laughs> yeah, more on that later. Now, speaking of abused meat, let's get to know tonight's panelists. He's a stand-up comedian who hosts the podcast Bananas and I Love My Kid But It's Kurt Brownoler. Thank you, thank you. Inside me are three smaller Kurt Brownolers and they hate me. <laughs> She's a stand-up comedian and actor whose new book, Unreliable Narrator, Me, Myself, and Imposter Syndrome is out now. It's Aparna Nancherla. <laughs> about me, I'm actually colorblind in one ear. <laughs> it's not the one you think. <laughs> and from the Good For You podcast, it's Whitney Cummings. Oh. Thank you. Um, I did just have a child a month ago. Um, yeah. Thank you. Uh, you guys, I'm someone's mom, isn't that wild? <laughs> Please don't call child services. This is for sure a crime to be here tonight, but. <laughs> After Midnight starts now. <laughs> Welcome to the first episode of After Midnight. We're taking the internet and desperately trying to make it fun. <laughs> it's gonna be fun, right? Yes. Yeah. 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 Real yeah. fun. Yep. Yeah, so fun. That's the right answer. Of course. <laughs> Comedians, you'll be competing for the grand prize of my father's approval. <laughs> <laughs> it is, it is so rare, fun. but winnable. <laughs> <laughs> At least I hear. <laughs> so let's start with what's going down in the group chat. <laughs> Comedians, I'll tell you about some trending stories and you'll buzz in with jokes. If you hear this noise, you get 100 points. I, I asked for a buzzer. I was a diva about that. <laughs> Here's what people are talking about on the internet today. A bartender was caught Googling how to make a vodka soda on their phone in this viral photo from at oh bloody Nora. <laughs> Yo, why is my bartender Googling vodka soda right now? <laughs> I know, how embarrassing, right? It's not like I just Googled how to host late night show. <laughs> Everyone loved big ratings. <laughs> On that note, panelists, what would you never want to see someone Google in the moment? Whitney. When circumcised, how much skin clip? <laughs> <laughs> How to dispose of wet pants in front of studio audience. <laughs> uh, anesthesia before or after? <laughs> <laughs> Over the weekend, X user at Hayes T. Fleish posted this photo saying, but can we, uh, can we say <laughs> dog? Nope, we can't. Expletive. <laughs> what? Check it. Expletive dog is mesmerized by Turkish news again. <laughs> this is why I love golden retrievers. They're friendly, playful, and more well-informed than most Americans. <laughs> Comedians, what dog-related news has this literal news hound so invested? <laughs> Whitney. Who's a good boy? More on this at six. <laughs> Kurt. There's no one out there. Why, you need to start barking now. <laughs> Breaking news, bird! <laughs> <laughs> no matter where you stand politically, you can't deny the Emmys were yesterday. <laughs> and I was there. <laughs> They'll invite anyone. Here's a picture of me on the red carpet. Stop! <laughs> I finally have a stylist who gets me. Stop. Uh, no, that's actually drag queen Princess Poppy. This is the real picture of me. <laughs> wow. Uh, well, did you guys watch the Emmys? No. You, there's no obligation. It was on Fox. I watched it. We don't, <laughs> we don't care here at CBS if you watched it. I watched it in my heart. You watched it in your heart. <laughs> I watched your part. <laughs> 100 points for one. <laughs> yep. okay. That was the right answer. There was one. <laughs> 
No, I was just making sure. So nobody watched the Emmys. TV's dead. Great. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> Perfect. Great. First episode. This will do well on the internet. Though. Yeah. yeah. No, this is good. Yeah, yeah we've tailored this. Yeah. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, our show was not nominated at the Emmys. Everybody say aw. Oh. No, it's okay. It's literally our first day. <laughs> and I don't even know what awards the show could possibly win because it's kind of a talk show, but there's no conversation. It's, it's a game show, but the points are fake. It's a vanity project, but it somehow makes me look worse. Stop. <laughs> Panelists, what award would After Midnight win at the Emmys? Kurt. Best female late night host. <gasps> Sorry, o only, only female. That's absolutely right. Not a lot of competition right now. <laughs> That's where I like to live. Aparna? Best whatever this is trying to do. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> I'm actually, I'm going for biggest screen. That's what I'd like. <laughs> I'm not even really the host of this show. I'm just a sidekick to the screen. <laughs> uh, in sopping wet news, the world's biggest cruise ship, the Icon of the Seas, is set to begin its maiden voyage later this month. Oh. Ooh. Yeah. This thing is massive. It's like the Mall of America in that it's full of people from Minneapolis. <laughs> <laughs> this is the cruise ship of the future. So comedians, what brand new disease will it introduce to the world? <laughs> Kurt. Scuba diarrhea. <laughs> Why do I feel like most Whitney. of the diseases spread on here are mental illnesses? <laughs> Aparna. Type 2 scabies, sexy rabies. Ooh. <laughs> the Kansas City Chiefs beat the Miami Dolphins in the first round of the NFL playoffs this past weekend, but the biggest story for social media was the fact that it was so cold at kickoff, people's beers literally froze over. <laughs> oh, it's like an alcoholic snow cone. <laughs> The best image going around was probably that of Chiefs coach Andy Reid and his little icicle mustache. We'll run it one more oh, time. No. <laughs> Look at the icicles for me. <laughs> He's so cute. He looks like divorced Santa. <laughs> Comedians, this football game was so cold. How cold was, was it? it? First down, more like frost down. Yeah. <laughs> Extra points for the football voice. <laughs> it was so cold, Taylor Swift sliced open Andy Reid and lived inside of him. <laughs> and no one judged her! <laughs> I would say all, all Taylors are perfect. Yes. <laughs> I like that. Uh, Sorry, Whitney. How cold was it? Um, <laughs> Whitney. It, it was so cold it made Aaron Rodgers believe in climate change. <laughs> 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 oh, that's great. Mispronounced it still. Do you want to say it again? You can say it again. It's TV. I don't want to take it back. <laughs> <laughs> okay? I have a speech impediment, and you're ableist. I thought that was great. <laughs> <laughs> <Okay>. uh, <laughs> you know what that means. No. You don't. It's our first show. Well. <laughs> it's oh. time for Hashtag Wars. <laughs> Uh, it was reported that out of hundreds of new shows that were made this last year, most of the awards only went to three. In honor of these forgotten shows, tonight's hashtag is hashtag lesser known TV shows. <laughs> For example, Bottom Chef. <laughs> CIS Modesto. <laughs> Panelists, I'm going to put 60 seconds on the clock and you'll buzz in with as many jokes as you can that fit tonight's topic. 60 seconds on the clock, go. Kurt. The Gimpsons. <laughs> Winnie. Sex in the City of Hoboken. <laughs> I would watch that. Rand Winnie Paul's again. Drag Race. <laughs> Abarna. Even younger Sheldon. Oh, he's just a fetus. Kurt. Kenny Rogers' Neighborhood. <laughs> Is that offensive? Law and Order Special Loitering Unit. <laughs> Kurt. Friend. <laughs> Kurt. The Real Housewives of Dayton. <laughs> I want to know what's going on in Dayton. Your time is up. Ugh. Kurt is in the lead with 1,200 points. <laughs> Whitney is in second with 1,000 okay. points. 
And Aparna's in third with 900 points. Play along with your own hashtag lesser TV shows on the After Midnight Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, Facebook, and Threads. Yes, Threads. Grow up and get on it. <laughs> we'll pick one of our favorites and feature them on tomorrow's show. And don't forget to tag us at After Midnight. Now it's time for commercials. Woo! Yeah, I said it. I'm a comedian and a truth teller. We'll be right back. Curiosity, what's your pain threshold? Oh, wow. We're working on the talk show part. <laughs> Does that feel natural? That, that feels question? pretty good. I mean, okay. all I know is that as a, a ginger, I require more anesthesia than non-redhead. Uh, is that true? That's a true fact, <laughs> which has been told to me by every single anesthesiologist uh, right before they roofie me. Really? Yeah. They're like, we got a double dose in here. <laughs> <laughs> double dose for Ron Weasley. That's crazy. I've yeah. never heard that yeah, before. That's true. Wow, and you learned something, Look too. Well, Maybe it is a talk show. <laughs> I don't know, right? I'm kind of uh, interesting. It's kind of, yeah. Uh, Aparna, was it? Oh, you can, Faye, oh, for being so vulnerable. Oh. Yeah, why not? Jack's like, you remember, give out points. That's why you're here. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Aparna, do you have a favorite childhood memory? And if so, may I have it? <laughs> oh. I don't know if this is a favorite, but this is a recurring nightmare I have from childhood. Oh. It's of me. Uh, in a stroller rolling down a hill and nobody is holding it. And then I just wipe out and I'm never the same again. And I would love for you to have that. I just did that with my son. How bad is it? I mean, look at me, I'm on TV. Yeah. Whitney, uh, you, you just mentioned you had a baby. Yes, ma'am. What is more painful, this show or labor? <laughs> do you think? Well, labor, I actually felt nothing because mommy got some <laughs> And I know it does a lot of bad things, but let's just... <laughs> they, is that true? Is that what they gave you? Um, 200 points for Whitney's baby. Let's play a game. Influencers are always trying to sell you something, even if they've never used it before. Makeup, <laughs> skinny tea, good judgment. <laughs> and hey, you're all on television, which is technically a screen, so congrats, you're all influencers, baby! Oh, yes. That's why we're gonna play a game called What I Can't Live Without. Uh. I'm going to show each one of you a random product, and you will have to explain why you can't live without it. Points if you convince me. Kurt, oh. here is your product. Oh, I'm first. You're okay. first. Okay. Bye. So oh. you were telling me all about this backstage and how much you love it. I have one of the I have one of these in every room. <laughs> wow. <laughs> it's just for when you want three slices on some clothing and uh <laughs> Because if you're going out and you have new jeans, but you're like, they don't look like lived in enough. You can just rub up against them real quick. They do open wounds, but, <laughs> but they are, it's, it's quick and easy, you know, and that's what my life's all about. Uh, <laughs> it's a look, I like that, are you, okay. Are you bothered by the fact that it is patent pending? It hasn't been. Oh. Well, they're mine. It's well... my patent and I'm waiting on it. <laughs> and so as soon as I get slicers uh, <laughs> patented, I'm, a, I'm never doing this show again. Uh, <laughs> That's really fascinating, Kurt, because it's actually a pork oh, shredder. Oh, OK. Yep. Yeah. Well, yep. The way Wolverine eats. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this is the only way you can con a man into cooking. You have to be like, you're a superhero. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. That was Kurt's product. What? Right. I'm so sorry. Well, I guess I you're not distracted. You can't take away no. points. I will tweet <laughs> about this. It's my this. first day. You don't take points away from a white no, woman. No. no. You, oh, I no, dare you. Can you. Keep, you can keep your points. I keep also points. just got some points. Yes, you yeah. just also got oh. some points. We'll give Kurt 200 points. Yeah. Aparna, I've seen you post a ton about whatever this is. Oh, yes, my, that's yes. my Moombo. I, that's my Moombo. Um, you put, when you think someone you know is mad at you, you put it on and then you are in a safe space. <laughs> 
Is that is that hole for your nose or for your mouth? It's, a, it's basically you put it on so that um, it shows just a little of your nose and mouth, so people know that you can breathe, but they don't know who you are, so you don't have to take any accountability. <laughs> Uh, that is amazing that that's what you said it's used for because this is how it really is meant to be used. <laughs> Yours is so much better. I can't believe that's what they're using it for. Whitney, you can't go more than five minutes no. without posting about My one of these things. Favorite thing. I love this you love thing. Love this. <laughs> so. <laughs> You know, Hot Pockets. <laughs> you know when you're sick of sleeping with your man? <laughs> Nights you're just not in the mood, yeah. but still want him to have, be serviced. <laughs> Enter the person pocket. <laughs> you put it between your legs, mm. get on your iPad. <laughs> this is getting cut, right? <laughs> Squeeze through. Jack, is this too? I feel like That's this what it's called, the squeeze through. Well, oh, there you go. Uh, thank you for reminding me. I forgot. Now, now that you named it, we have to keep it, is what I'm being told. <laughs> it's official. I love the rules of this game. It's great. I actually, I was like, this is, be wow, you are towing this line perfectly. <laughs> I think, I'm gonna, give Whitney, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna give Whitney 200 points for that because, I mean, they're actually used for. Oh. Yeah, non-stick chip fingertips. Oh, wow. It's like oven mitts, but instead of heat, it's for cheese powder. Yeah. When you said Hot Pockets, I was like, is she going to get it? <laughs> <laughs> I do feel like you could use that in the bedroom. Absolutely. If you don't, don't want to touch it. Yeah. You know? Well, I have a sudden urge to shop, but not because I'm a woman. It's because I'm easily influenced. <laughs> because I'm a woman. We'll be right back after the break. <laughs> about you. <laughs> Kurt is in the lead with 1,600 points. <laughs> Whitney is in second with 1,500 points. <laughs> and Aparna is in third with 1,400 points. <laughs> there are some unsettling TikTok cooking videos out there where people are committing crimes against food. <laughs> like this. <laughs> Lovely. It combines an Italian favorite, pizza, with an Irish favorite, boiling thing. <laughs> <laughs> so now it's time to play Tick Chopped. <laughs> Comedians, I'm going to show you an especially egregious TikTok recipe. And for 100 points, I want you to tell me what you would call it. First up, from at Paul Has Fun. What would you name this dish? Kurt. Flavored Town Finger Blast. <laughs> Aparna. Everything Everywhere All in Glove. Yes. <laughs> Great. We next have this thing by TikToker Sir Fluffbutt. <laughs> Don't let the music fool you. This sucks. <laughs> You're kind of like, maybe it's OK. It's not. It's the music. <laughs> Comedians, what would you name this recipe? Whitney. Douchebaguette. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what about this one from at Banana Loves You Too? So you take a macaroni ball, OK? And you put it right here in the center. This is Velveeta cheese. And then wrap the beef oh. around this. Oh, wow. Oh. Yeah. Sometimes you're like, maybe it'll come together. <laughs> and it never does. Comedians, what would you call this? Kurt. The savory gusher. Oh. Oh. Aparna. I don't know what it's called, but I 
think it counts as pornography in Wisconsin. <laughs> <laughs> Whitney. Hamburger helps you die faster. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what about this from at casserole queen? Today, we are going to be making a green bean jello casserole. Look at that. That's just like Christmas morning. <laughs> Look, we've got this first green layer with the cubes of Spam. We've got the pudding layer with the, with the cream of mushroom soup. And then we have the crunchy layer. <laughs> if that reminds you of Christmas, you were abused as a child. <laughs> Comedians, what's the name for this dish? I don't know, Wait. but I wish I had it when I was pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> Kurt. Martha Pukert's Sloppenheimer. <laughs> <laughs> Did you just think of that, or was it so funny you couldn't get through it? Uh, yeah, yeah, I just thought Did of it. Did you just give yourself points? I did. Oh, that was great. <laughs> that was amazing. Aparna. Uh, Jello surprise. Surprise is bad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, excellent. I feel horrible. <laughs> <laughs> now, our final video, courtesy of TikTok user Between Heaven and Dream. No. Ugh. Nope. What would you call this other than disturbing? <laughs> Kurt. Johnny Depp versus Amber Bird. <laughs> oh, God. Whitney. I don't know, but I would like to come forward um, against, <laughs> against this. Hashtag meet two. <laughs> Aparna. I would say 50 shades of salmonella. <laughs> Oh, thank God it's over. I'm starving. <laughs> <laughs> Whitney and Aparna are tied for first place with 2,200 points. <laughs> Kurt is not far behind with 2,100 points. The internet has given suburban parents so much new slang to keep up with, so we're playing a game called Suburban Dictionary. I'm going to give you a popular slang word, and for 300 points, you're going to use it as a suburban parent would. Whoever's the most out of touch wins the points. <laughs> Comedians, your first word is... Bussin'. <laughs> Kurt? I bought this jacket at a thrift store, but it's missing a bussin'. <laughs> <laughs> you sell it so... It's... <laughs> I, by the way, I, it's unbelievable. <laughs> it's so good. Aparna? Um, I don't drive. I'm bussing. It's, <laughs> it's, it's, it's better for the environment. <laughs> and Whitney? I think the guy who's bussing our table <laughs> is Mexican. <laughs> Whitney, do you want to be in this episode? <laughs> Oh, it was it was a suburban. It was a suburban parent in certain parts of the country for sure. Uh, I'm gonna give the 300 points to Aparna on that one. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, it's good for the environment. Always oh, pitting female comics against each other. What's new? <laughs> You're not the only female comic here. There's literally two of you. I'm, I'm in the minority in this situation. Kurt's a ginger and a man. It's yeah. hard for him. I need more anesthesia. <laughs> It was sunny outside today. I was worried about it. Thank you. I had an umbrella. <laughs> Next word is yeet. Aparna. Are you going to eat the rest of that? <laughs> Kurt. Leave your sister alone. You know she has a yeet infection. <laughs> Whitney. I don't mean to brag, but I have a five star rating on Wiki Yeet. <laughs> Thank again. you, guys. So high score. I'm gonna give the points to Kurt on that one. Oh, come on! For being an ally to women. <sighs> Next word is mid. <laughs> Kurt. The only mid I know is Bet Midler. You are the wind beneath my <laughs> wings. 
Barna. Uh, still no cure for the mids, but you can live with it a long time. <laughs> what? What are? What is the mids? Oh, it's uh, it starts down here and it kind of works its way up. Oh. But it settles around but here. But it settles around yeah. here. Okay, I'm gonna give a partner the points on that because because <laughs> I threw a I threw a follow up question. Our next word is. Luke, or perhaps it's pronounced look. We could not decide in the writer's room. <laughs> Chime in in the comments and be mean about it. <laughs> Aparna. Sometimes I look in the mirror and I don't even know who I am anymore. <laughs> that felt for like a line from Euphoria. <laughs> All right, Kurt. Uh, Luke, I am your father. <laughs> <laughs> Whitney. Don't look, but that man is holding hands with another man. <laughs> the assignment is to be out of touch. That's the point. Yes. <laughs> it is. I'm winning. It is. I'm, I'm winning. <laughs> I'm going to give Whitney the points on that because she did remind me of the rules. It is to be the most out of touch. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. You are absolutely right. Double Virgo here. Absolutely. The rules. And finally, I'm not even going to try to say it. <laughs> Can't wait to hear what the pronunciation is. Whitney. My favorite movie is Giant Earp. <laughs> All right, Aparna. Uh, more inflation? You've got to be kidding me. <laughs> <laughs> Kurt. It's raining gats and dogs out there. <laughs> I'm gonna give the points to Kurt on that one because of the accent. <laughs> Our scores now are Aparna's in the lead with 2,800 points. Kurt is in second with 2,700, and Whitney is in third with 2,500. Great job being so out of touch, everyone. I will now be yeeting to a mid commercial that's sure to be bussin'. We'll be right back. <laughs> to play an incredible game. I'm serious. The greatest thinkers throughout history have asked the same question, smash or pass? <laughs> Which is why tonight we are finally providing some answers in a game we're calling to smash or not to smash. I'm going to put two objectively smashable hotties on the screen. Stand on the side you want to smash, but you must come to a consensus. Every player must be on the same side before we move on. Uh. Feel free to debate amongst yourselves, but there is a right answer. <laughs> At the end of the game, if you get most of them right, you'll be rewarded with a pat on the back. <laughs> yes, I will literally be patting you on the back. <laughs> Did you know physical touch makes you happier and less stressed? Yeah, Lexapro found dead. <laughs> <laughs> All right, first pair, smash or not to smash? Mario versus oh. Luigi. Oh. 30 seconds on the clock, go. Oh, guys, oh, come on. What? Short, short king, short king. No. <laughs> Luigi, Luigi no, is the less famous one, all right? He's going to work harder. He's, he's going to go on it. He's wearing a, oh. he's wearing a MAGA hat. Oh. oh. Okay, I mean, that line about Luigi going on you, hadn't even thought about that. That was great, Kurt. The correct answer is, of course, smash Luigi. Oh, yes. Oh. Because he's tall. Next pair, Patrick Starr or Sandy Cheeks? 30 seconds, go. Oh, Luigi Or things time. he can touch you with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. By the way, I'm trying to not get touched. That's my nightmare. Oh. <laughs> He already looks like a Yeah, 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 yeah. Where do you buy your <laughs> It's an underwater store you don't know about. Is this... His, his mouth is also his butt. 10 yeah. seconds. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. The right answer for this one is obviously Patrick Starr. <laughs> because he's tall. This one is gonna be easy. Garfield or John Arbuckle? 30 seconds and go. 
You need some cushion for that pushing. Uh, this is a this is a daddy. That's big daddy energy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Obviously has a drug problem. My type. <laughs> He's a sub. He's a sub. He's a sub. Uh, likes lasagna. Probably fun at dates. No. <laughs> Ten seconds, Kurt. Oh, you're not getting Jerry, anyone. This is a Jerry. human man, and that's illegal. I can't. I cannot believe I'm doing that. I cannot believe I'm doing that. We knew you were gay. <laughs> <laughs> Time's up. Correct answer, John, of course, because he's human. <laughs> and also tall. <laughs> Finally, the ultimate question. To smash or not to smash? Gritty or the Quaker Oats mascot? 30 seconds, go! I can't going. I, I don't know. Look at what? those eyes. Yeah, this yeah. man is wild and bad. Look at that top. I don't want it. This is like, if you have daddy issues, this is hot. <laughs> I mean, it's Actually, ooh. wait, he does have, like... He does like, have a beard. He does have a beard. This is for when he eats food. 10 seconds. Is it? Is it for food, Brittany? He looks rich. He you got it to five seconds. Oh. You got to change your mind. Oh. <laughs> the correct answer, Gritty. Yeah. Oh. Yes. Because he's taller, we check. <laughs> Wow, you guys sure are good at knowing who is objectively hot. <laughs> Panelists, you absolutely rocked that challenge. You were so great at being weird together. As a reward, here is a literal pat on the back. Come on over. <laughs> that was so nice. I hope everyone's feeling nice and validated. I was taught to go out on a win, so after midnight, we'll be right back. <laughs> been fun, but it's starting to feel a little crowded in here. I don't want three contestants anymore. I want two. I do better in small groups. <laughs> Currently, Aparna is in the lead with 2,800 points. <laughs> Kurt is in second with 2,700 points. <laughs> and Whitney is not far behind with 2,500 points. <laughs> so it's time for our elimination game. Is this still cool? Hmm. <laughs> In today's culture, trends change faster than it takes Jeff Probst to churn out new seasons of Survivor. <laughs> Survivor season 46 premieres February 28th, <laughs> right here on CBS. <laughs> Seriously though, Jeff, put me in. They won't let me build fires here. <laughs> in this game, I'm going to say a thing and you're going to tell me, is that thing still cool? If I agree with you, then it is cool and you get points. Don't like it? Get your own show. <laughs> Panelists, today's thing, is animal print still cool? Lock in your answers now and prepare to explain your answer. The winners will get 1,000 points. OK, answers locked. Kurt, is animal print still cool and why? Yes, it is, but the lesser known animals. <laughs> like, like, uh, like the one that sits in trees with the pink tail. With the pink tail? Uh, it's, uh, it's got a snout. <laughs> oh! Is it an anteater? Oh, uh, sure. Let's no. go with the anteater. Is that if what you it's think? It's like, of... a, yeah, if it's a lesser known animal print, it's still cool, like an anteater print. Is there an anteater? Isn't it, aren't they just gray? You don't, nobody knows? So. He doesn't know what an anteater is, and I'm gonna lose. <laughs> I just I, wanna be clear. I, 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 a possum. A possum is A possum? Oh, yeah. a pink, pink rat tail. So your answer is yes. Yes. Okay. Aparna. I was also gonna say yes, because with climate change and stuff, it's, it'll be good to remember what they looked like. <laughs> I mean, so true. And Whitney, I think I know what your answer is going to be. I feel attacked. <laughs> I'm so glad you wore a horse jacket. I'm so glad. <laughs> it's so perfect. As an aspiring cougar, 
Um, I need animal print to be in style because that's the main way to figure it out. And if you don't agree, you're not a feminist. <laughs> All right. The answer is, of course, animal print is still cool. Yes. Wearing animal print is a status symbol and a power move. And truly, who is more powerful than her? <laughs> yes. yes. My union president, my queen. Everybody got that one right, which means everyone got 1,000 points, yeah. which puts Aparna in the lead with 3,800, Kurt in second Woo. with 3,700, and Whitney in third with 3,500. Sadly, that means, Whitney, you have been eliminated. I quit, though. Oh, but I don't, I, I would like to go. <laughs> but on this show, it's not enough to just lose. You also have to apologize for losing. <laughs> Yeah. Whitney, like all celebrities who embarrass themselves on a public platform, you owe us a notes app apology. Please stand and deliver. It has come to my attention that I have lost. <laughs> but now that I can no longer play the woman card to win, I have become a Republican. <laughs> so I will dispute the charges from jail. I believe this show is rigged and you're all jealous pigs. <laughs> No, thanks. <laughs> so good. The, the timing was so perfect. <laughs> We've come to the final act of our show, which means it's for the win. <laughs> Holidays used to mean something. Now Every day is a different, seemingly fake holiday so that social media managers have something to post about. <laughs> Did you know that January 16th is actually Hot and Spicy Food Day? We, yeah, we can do better than that. Comedians, make me a better holiday that doesn't give me GERD. <laughs> we'll hear your answers, and our studio audience will pick a winner right after this break. <laughs> Tonight, our panelists are playing for my father's approval. He's got to give it to somebody. Before the break, I asked our finalists to come up with a fake holiday. I will read your answers out loud, and our studio audience will determine the winner based on applause. Here is our first made-up holiday. Today is Harbor Day, a celebration of America's harbors, the parking lots of the sea. <laughs> Arbor Day, not Arbor Day. Everybody knows what a tree is, so why doesn't Arbor Day just shut the f up and go with Tree Day? Sincerely, Harbor Day. And here's our second made up holiday Ashley Wednesday. It's Ash Wednesday for girls with bangs.